Hey everybody, it's uh, Zach here at Keen Industries, here to help you switch out your faulty 24 volt solar timer. For this, we'll need four tools. A Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, a pair of wire clippers, and a half inch wrench. On the back side of your system, there's a breaker box. Begin by opening the lid and flipping your breaker to the off position. Our next step will be to remove the positive terminal from the batteries. Let's remove the timer from its base. Push it away from the wall and use a screwdriver to depress the button in the front. Rock the timer backwards and pull it out. Now that we have the timer face plate off, you either have a system with a load base wire or a battery base wire that looks like this. If it looks like this, nothing needs to be done with this next step. However, if it looks like this, you want to trace this red and black wire to your ProStar. It will connect with your positive battery cable wire. Take your wire clippers and go ahead and snip the wire. Next, we will remove all the wires from the timer that goes to the terminals. We'll begin with the front blue grayish wire in terminal nine. Note that this wire also has a small red wire connected to it. We'll save this for later. You have one red wire running to the back side. Let's remove that next. You also have a black wire running to the back side. At this point, all wires should be disconnected from your timer base. Next, remove the timer base from the DIN rail. To do so, there's a small brass lever on the right side of the terminal. Push this upwards. Now we'll remove the red wire from the back side of terminal nine. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this for later use with a black Sharpie. We'll remove the terminal block label 9. To do so, place a small flathead screwdriver in the front and pry slightly backwards. It should pop out real easy. Next, we'll snap into place the new pre-wired terminal. We'll start with the back side and click the front side down. We'll also do the same with terminals 9 and 10. Start with the back side and click the front side down. At this point, you should have four loose wires. A long red one from the timer, a short black one from the timer, the previously marked red wire, and a skinny red wire. We'll begin with hooking up the wires into the nine terminal. We'll take our skinny wire and put it into bay nine. Check for tightness. Next, we'll take our previously marked red wire and put it in the back side of bay nine. Once again, check to make sure it's tight. We'll connect the black wire to any open black terminal. I'm gonna choose the back side of the middle one. Check to make sure it's tight. Connect the red wire from the timer to the back side of the red terminals. To do so, I'm going to wire it underneath the DIN rail. 
any terminal will work. I'm going to choose the second one. Check for tightness. The timer is now wired, and now let's connect the positive cable back to the batteries. Mind the spark. Let's check all the terminals here. That one's getting tight. We're good to go. Now let's test the clock. Let's first by hitting the reset button. To set the clock, you need to hold down the clock button and press your hour. Let's set this to 12. The timer now thinks it's 12 on a Monday. Now let's set our first program. Press the P button once. It'll say 01 on. You no longer need to press your clock button. Set this to 1202. Now let's set the off time. Press the program button once more. It'll say 01 off. Set this to 12.03. Your programs are now set and you can press the clock button once to return to the fu clock function. Your timer will turn on at 12.02 and turn off at 12.03. Let's reset the timer once more. Program it to your local time. For us, it's Thursday at noon. Now we'll program our first program. Remember, this is when it, the system will turn on. So we're going to set this to 1400. Note that all days are selected. I didn't have to press the D plus button, it automatically selects all days. Next, program your off time. We'll program this to 10. You can now press the clock button to return to the time. The system will now turn on every day at two and turn off at 10. Congratulations, you're practically done. Just don't forget to flip your breaker to the on position and secure your NEMA box lid enclosure.